And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures were in the upper 60s today, a couple degrees cooler than yesterday where we had highs in the lower 70s, but we're going to see a rebound tomorrow as we have a warm front that's going to move northward where we see those upper 70s. It looks like we'll have two days of some mild conditions and then we'll have a dip in the jet stream. So then temperatures are going to drop down into the lower 60s, even some of us into the upper 50s. But then as we go into the weekend, it seems that the pattern, the jet stream will kind of level out. We'll get into more of a zonal flow, it means winds coming from straight west to east, and that should warm those temperatures up as we get towards the end of the weekend into next week, back up probably upper 60s and lower to mid 70s. It was a hazy day out there. It wasn't high Sears clouds. It was the smoke from Canadian wildfires that kept us under a little bit of this smokiness uh, sky out there. A few fair weather clouds passing through, but overall it's been a dry day and uh, not too bad. Uh, we do see a little bit of smoke, as you can see over the last couple of of hours last 48 hour loop showing that plume of smoke crossing across the Rockies and into the Western Great Lakes. And that's why we have that plume of smoke that jet stream transporting from the West. And it looks like the smoke is going to stick in here for at least the next couple of days. When we have a cold front that moves in uh, Wednesday into Thursday, that's when we'll start to see the smoke push down to the south a little bit and maybe see some more blue skies. But until then, it looks like the smoky skies will be here to stay. Uh, besides that smoke, a few uh, clouds passing through associated with that warm front. It's been a dry day uh, either uh, way, but we will continue to see dry conditions over the next coming days. Cloud cover up towards the Canadian border, and we'll see probably the next chance of rain on Thursday. Friday into Saturday morning as we have another week disturbance moving in here. Beforehand, you see the cloud cover lifting up to the north, and then we see mostly sunny skies with some of that haziness up there. If we continue that into our Wednesday, and then we'll have a frontal boundary move in later into the day on Wednesday. That's going to change the winds and with it some cooler weather. But talking about the winds, tomorrow it's going to be a windy day. Breezy winds out of the west and southwest will pump in, help us warm up to near 80 degrees, but with it gusts near and exceeding 30 miles per hour at times. We'll start to see the wind subside as we get later on into the overnight into Wednesday, and that's when the winds will start to shift out of the northwest associated with that cold front. 65 right now, wind out of the south, 10 miles per hour, sunset at 704 today. We've got 63 in Mountain, 65 in Shano, upper 60s in the Southern Fox Valley, and upper 50s to low 60s along the shoreline. We'll cool down to 57 tonight. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll climb up to a high of 78. Some areas probably getting into the lower 80s, especially farther inland. 75 for your Wednesday, and then we'll cool things down once that cold front moves in. 60 on Thursday, a chance of a few showers on Friday, 61, upper 50s on Saturday. But then we start to warm things up back up into the upper 60s and lower 70s by the end of the weekend and into next week. Nina. It is wild to see that smoke pattern all the way from the west travel all the way to Wisconsin. Thanks for clearing that up for us, Gino.